Do any of these situations sound familiar? You just received a new assembly or ball nut, open the box only to find that the ball nut came apart and there are ball bearings everywhere. Or you were assembling a ball nut onto a screw and something went wrong and the ball bearings popped out. Maybe you were removing a ball nut from a screw onto an arbor and something went wrong and the ball bearings went everywhere. Or you were operating your ball screw assembly and ran the ball nut off the screw. Don't worry or be embarrassed. For those of us that have been around ball screws long enough, we've all done this at some point. It's okay to send the nut back to Thompson and we'll be very happy to reball the unit. If you're up to the challenge though, here's how to assemble a metric ball nut onto a screw. A word of caution first. The ball bearings in each ball nut have been individually selected to achieve the proper performance and are dimensionally critical to the operation of the assembly. One ball nut can operate just fine despite missing a couple of ball bearings. However, a ball nut cannot operate if the wrong size ball bearing is inserted or if dirt is introduced into the nut. First, position the nut so that the thread or flange is correctly oriented to the screw. Turn the ball nut onto the screw so that the lower circuit is below the screw. Next, dump the ball bearings into the nut. Using a pick, slowly feed the ball bearings into the ball track. You may have to raise up the ball nut to allow free space. As you're installing the balls, slowly rotate the nut down the screw. The ball nut is complete when all the bearings have been assembled. Keep in mind that the ball nut is designed to operate with a one to five ball bearing gap. You aren't missing anything important if a couple are missing. Finally, check that the ball nut operates smoothly. Dump the ball bearings and repeat this process if the ball nut does not operate smoothly. Once assembled, transfer the completed ball nut into your application.